Hi everybody, uh, welcome to York. Happy New Year, it's going to be New Year's Eve tomorrow. Um, we're just outside of York Minster, one of the doors. Uh, we're going to walk about the Minster and use the EVP um, recorder and also the EMF meter, see if we get any uh, flickering lights and if we do, we're going to stop and do a paranormal. But we're going to do this whole uh, area of the Minster, we're going to walk up to the North Gate. Because uh, York is such a big city, uh, we're literally going to have to break it up into three, four, maybe even five parts. Yeah. So we're going to do two parts on this uh, visit, and then the next time we come back, we'll continue and do different sections of it. Uh, so we're going to take a walk around and try and avoid the ghost groups, because there's loads of ghost groups out tonight. Oh, God, yes. Yeah. I'll get the earmuff meter. Okay, okay. Um, right, so basically, while well, this place goes back to 1500s, Henry VIII had it built as his church. He wanted to break away from the Catholic Church, so he built this. Um, but obviously it took two to three hundred years and it's still not completed now. They're still always forever putting like new stained glass in or adding uh, tower turrets on and things, gargoyles, whatever. It's never completely finished. But there's a hell of a lot of history from 1480, when it was a basic church, right the way through to, uh, you know, present day even. Um, and it's a very uh, paranormally active place. It's a very beautiful place inside. You know, we get a lot of church carol services and things like that at Christmas televised from here, um, as well as the ones in London, St Paul's and Westminster. So it's very uh, famous world over, you know, for that. Um, but we'll run this at EMF meter. We've got to go around to the other door, because I do believe the other door is more active than this one, because it's older. It is, it is. And we have actually handy as himself had paranormal experiences around the other side. Yeah, and I'll tell you that later. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go into the other door and we'll keep an eye. This is flickering already. Yeah. So it will be very active around here because of well, the Yeah, people. there's a lot of stuff and there's a lot of... Centuries of religion. There's a lot of things happen with this place that have been interesting. So I'll tell you... Just right. as a point of interest, um, that building lit up there is where Guy Fawkes used to live. That was his house. Yeah. It's now been turned into the Guy Fawkes Tavern. Yeah. In hotel but it was that was his house yeah yeah there's a few interesting stories to tell that about was why that was flickering then about yeah. this yeah. building though isn't there yeah uh, the whole, uh, I'll you walk around it there's different yeah. little sort of uh, information plaques on the wall that you can read you know if you come yourself to look at it yeah uh, telling you the history of the time the people what was going on i'll tell you a bit about it and yeah. stuff we go to that door over there yeah because it quite light and there's some really good gargoyles in this doorway and it's like well lit but this is the area where you Andy I think had just all my activity during yeah. that time. I'll tell you about this now. Yeah. <coughs> there's one gargoyle on the camera. So just get up here and have a look at this entrance. And that's me. <laughs> yeah so um, you can get around just two thirds of it, the other third is um, locked off at the minute because they, that's where they rebuild all the stained glass and they replace yeah. all the stone masonry and there's a lot of craft um, there's stone mess and craft work going on around there, so they keep it locked up at night, obviously, because other blind people be taking this stuff and building their houses with it and putting it in the garden. Do you know what it's like? We're talking England now, guys. You know, not the USA, but in England, we'll take this stuff and build houses from it. Right, so what I'm going to do, Andy, I'll hand it over to you and yeah. um, I'll film. I'm getting this flashing already. That's good. And I'll let you tell your story of what happened in the park yeah. just at the back of here when you walk through that yeah. time. I have a story to tell about this this actual building anyway. Okay. So, yeah, I have a couple of things to tell, but All I'll right, tell the I'll story. Take that. Yeah. And there I'll take go. the camera. Hey, it's very swiftly hey, done. Hey, <laughs> very, very, I haven't very got gorgeous. my fingers stuck in it. Very swiftly done. I haven't got my fingers stuck in it. Do you want to? Take the Emma. Yeah. The story about this place is. Uh, quite a few fires and not in past times in sort of the last 50 years uh, I think the last fire we had here they just ordained the new Archbishop of York I'm not sure if it's York the new Archbishop now in his speech that he was doing on that day for some reason, he seemed to question whether there was a God, which, as somebody who is just been nominated, just been in 
put in the position of Archbishop, the leader of this, one of the top people in the church, in Britain, one of the most well-known cathedrals, minsters or whatever you call it, in the country, would be questioning whether there was a God. The same day, the spire at the top was hit by lightning and a fire started and burned quite quite a substantial amount of damage to it. Mm. The funny thing about that is when uh, he went back to the weather people, the weather people said there were no thunder or lightning storms in this area. Make of that what you want. Sounds like an act of God, doesn't it? That was because that guy questioned whether there was a God. Yeah, it sounds like an act of God. Yeah, so that was, the, I think, the last time, and that's what they're restoring now. Yeah. In this a bit of a park at the back of the Minster, now, I'd never known that there were any stories about uh, ghost stories of York and everything. I'd never heard one about the back of here. Uh, this was an experience that it wasn't just me, and it was with somebody who interested in the paranormal, but... Arson and my mum had gone shopping. Me and my dad were just pottering around, as we usually do. We started coming here. We'd had a sit down, we walked around the park, and we walked from the entrance on the other side, and we were walking along the footpath here. As we're walking along, we hear, I think it was either two or three people behind us, sort of obviously right behind us. So we both stepped to one side on the grass to let these people pass. As we looked, there's not a soul to be seen. And we both looked at each other, we looked all over the place, there was nobody else in the park with us. So we got to the end of it and we both went, you moved to side, we moved to the side the same as I did. I said, you heard somebody behind us. He said, yeah, he said, I heard three people behind us. He said, that's why I moved out of the way, to let them pass. But there was nobody there. So and why don't we have that, a walk over to the park that, gates that, now? I was, with the EMF meter. No. And let's see if we pick anything up. Because after you came back and told us that experience, I did a little bit of research on this particular area mm. of the Minster Park grounds and what it was, this area, it's all in darkness here now, the park. There used to be a Catholic monastery here and then what Henry VIII did, he had that pulled down and raised to the ground and then he could build this Minster. Yeah. So I've got a feeling that what you picked up was probably people still coming and going from that Catholic monastery. Mm. So it might be worth conducting a little bit of a paranormal here to see if we can get any yeah. ask the Catholic monks how they feel about the monastery being pulled down and this York Church of England Minster being built instead in its place because this was like Henry VIII's grand design, this weren't it, this Minster it was his obsession for most of his life, getting this thing well I shouldn't call it a thing, this cathedral this Minster um, up and, you know, it, as it is today, it, and it's a fantastic building yeah, there probably will be some ruins still about because um, this was so basically what he'd done because he'd fell out with the Catholic Church because he wanted to marry Anne Boleyn he pulled down the Catholic monastery and he built his York Minster so he was literally giving uh, two fingers to the Pope by saying I'll pull your cathedral down and I'll build mine so it ain't a problem mate because I'm King of England at the end of the day so let's just uh, use whatever equipment we've got to hand and see but there's another interesting story. I don't know whether you can pick it up on the camera. The white building, the building that's lit up down there. Yeah, you can see it. It's called the Treasurer's House. Yeah. Now, if you ever hear any ghost stories, uh, read any ghost stories about York, that is probably, without doubt, probably the most famous stories that has ever been heard. Is that where they saw the Roman soldiers? I think it was a young lad, 15 years of age, renovating the treasurer's house, he's down in the basement, digging, doing whatever he was doing, and he basically 
stood there and he dig, dug down as far as they could and he basically saw what he could only describe as Roman soldiers marching along mm. in the cellar and he sort of one side and sort of out of the way but the one thing he said was he could only see them from the knees upwards. Yeah, like they so were marching on the they, original road. When they found out the road, the actual Roman road was would have been yeah. where the feet should have been. So they was marching on the actual so, road, were they? So that's that building at the back there, guys, the white one you can see. The young lad raced upstairs, said he was not coming back, and his boss and two other guys turned to him then, just turned and went. Oh, I presume you've seen the Roman soldiers then. Yeah. This guy ended I'm up... I'm reaching out. Reaching ah, out. someone's I'm reaching out. This Reach guy, out to us, please. We'll talk to you. This guy ended up being a policeman. Never talked about it. And very rare, very, very rarely spoke to it. He died not long ago. But he did a few talks about it and then refused to talk it out. And never spoke about it for about 50, 60 years. Yeah. And then he... he did a talk about it, but he just refused to talk about it. I think you're so traumatised by it, weren't like, well, that's one of the most famous... Yeah. I'm reaching out. Who's reaching out, please? Who are you reaching out to? You're reaching out. You're reaching out to us. What? What do you want from us? In what way are you reaching out? Reaching out for what? Reaching out, you need help. Are you reaching out to talk to us and tell us your wife? Did you have connections to the Catholic monastery before Henry VIII had it pulled down? Yeah, let's try that because that's supposed to contain energy, isn't it? To set the spirit activity off. The stone tape theory is a big. Yeah, yeah. You know, theory amongst the paranormal yeah, world at the minute. That far away from the phone, so yeah. it doesn't get people he going. Died. He died. He died. Who died? Who, d who died? He died. So are you talking about yourself or are you talking about someone you knew? Did you talk about, it sounds like you're talking about somebody. He died. Yeah. Talk about somebody they knew. Yeah. Who are, you, who are you talking about? Can you let us know who you're talking about? Or who are you? What What time are you from? What year is it? Illegal. Illegal? Hmm. Is it it's, illegal? Uh, sounding interesting. What, what was illegal? I wonder if they're talking about Robert Ask. Henry VIII put him to death, didn't he? And yeah. it was illegally done because he coaxed him down to London with a false promise. Yeah. And then he brought him back up here and he had him hung in chains at Cliff yeah, well, Clifford's Tower, some people say. Because he said if it... She pushed. She pushed. She pushed. I wonder if it's connected to that or whether we're just misreading it, maybe. I don't know why, but Robert Asker just kind of popped into my mind yeah, when you said that, when yeah, that came up. Because he sort of betrayed him, didn't he? He sort of said... Yeah. Because he was a leader, he said, if you come down, um, we'll, we'll talk and we'll discuss it. Um, you know, if you can stop people doing what they're doing, well, everything will be all right. And he, he didn't, he had him murdered. Hung in chains. It was one of the worst deaths there was, actually, for um, you know, a king to give. She pushed. Who pushed? <coughs> Who are we talking about, please? What story? Can you explain a bit more? Plans. Plans. She pushed plans. You're not making any sense. Could you could please you, tell us some more? Could you explain a little, a little, a little more? I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure of what you mean. Eight. Eight. Eight or eight as in eight. the number eight. eight as in I don't know if there's anything. Is there eight doors to this minster, or is it? Is I know there's four main doors, but does it not have like four smaller? I can't remember. That it has small, four like smaller ones what as do well. You mean by eight? What year? What year? What year are you from? What century? Can you 
thinking was in there. I know I'm asking a lot of questions. I'm just going to film round, guys, in, in the chance we pick up any uh, spirit or any spirit people who want to come forward because this park is locked up so no one's able to walk through it. But be aware there's some Christmas lights flashing in the background. Ryan. That's a name, but that sounds like a pretty modern name, doesn't it, Ryan? Who's Ryan? Ryan, what happened to you? Could be a last name. If Could think, be a last name, if yeah. You think in older times, yeah. they didn't use first names, did they? No. If you were common working people, it was just surnames. It, it was. Oh, it's Ryan. So they, they, You'll use first names for like uh, important people. First names. The yeah, ghost group's coming first back. Yeah. I think, yeah. Well, I don't think they're going to come up here anyway. You know the tour? But I think they've gone that way anyway. No, I don't think they've come here because there's not much. There's a few tours guys that come around York doing the history and all that at night yeah. time. Yeah. This is just like, this is like their warm up, isn't it? Warm you say that, I've got my fingers are freezing cold. <laughs> I don't know where you're getting warm up from. <laughs> I was thinking the opposite. <coughs> Brass monkeys. <laughs> but anyway, if you feel warm, I'm good for you. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> you should have had the arabata instead of the... Uh, I should have had nothing really because my stomach is so full I can't tell you to burst. <laughs> you should have had the arabata instead of... The but you know, I'm, yeah, well, you know, I had seafood pizza. Seafood, and eat it. Yeah, well, sleep. So, yeah, I could do with some sleep. Somebody's picked that right up. You always do after a good meal, don't you? Want that the sleep? That's, that's but we got work to do first. We can't just go and. That's why I had the hot food. I don't learn because I did the same thing the last time I went oh, to that pizza fire. place. Edward. Edward. No, that sounds like an older name. Edward's that's like a king's name, isn't it? King Edward. Yeah. There's a few King Edwards, so I don't know which. What was the name of that guy down there on that wall? I'm the, not sure uh, to be honest. The king's. Keeper of the back door or something. Oh, I'm not sure. It was Joseph. I'm not sure. I'll have to oh, look at it, it again while we're. Was it Joe? Oh. He was connected to King Charles the first. The keeper of the king's stool. See, Edward goes back to Richard of York. You know, um, Richard the third of York. His brothers were Edward and George. Edward, who are you? Which they would. This was the seat of the uh, kingdom when it was King Richard the third and Edward and George. And the two princes in the tower, they belong to this York family. Can you tell us what your job was? Which Edward? Second, third, fourth? What your position was. It was what one was of the kings, position? we need to know it. Were you connected to the Minster? Or were you connected to this area around here? I might be talking about when Edward was king, you know, before Richard III. Edward the Fourth, his brother was the king, because it was his two sons that got uh, went to the Tower of London and so, disappeared. Yeah. So it because this was the it. seat of the the throat before Henry built this. Art, yeah. 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 There was three brothers: Edward, Richard, and George. Yeah. And before that, mm. there was three other brothers, and they were also called Edward, Richard, and George. So it's Richard the Second, Edward the Third, and George. That's just lazy. And that. then after that. There was Edward the Fourth, Richard the Third, and 1970s. oh well, 1970s. that's a bit more recent then. So we're not oh, talking about like Richard the Third then. If it's the 1970s, that's, that's, uh, that's more likely that Edward who's just gone dancing down at the flipping roller didn't rink in it. That's <laughs> just up my street, that. Get your roller boogie on. Get your roller boogie on. Ghost. Come on, it's 1970s. It's ghost. your thing. Let's do a little bit of the cool of the gang. Are we allowed to do that without getting sued? You can't get sued for doing cool on the gang. Yeah, 1970s. Edward, get down. Get get on down. Get so down. Just go, man. What were the clubs around here, mate? If you used to be here in the 1970s, were you a student? Where did you used to hang out? Let's get down you on don't it. expect that at a at like 800 year old, sorry, 500 year old cathedral, do you? Yeah, a 1970s. Oh, this might have been the hub of activity, this big part of it. Yeah, it could have been, you don't the know. 1970s. Well, they could have done, it's a park, isn't it? It was a park in the 70s, so how do we know they didn't have things going on? 
you know, whatever student stuff and bands and whatever festivals. We don't know, do we? In this park in an evening in the 70s, getting on down and shaking your boots. Well, I know back in them days they had a lot of summer school universities. Because my dad went, when they do a degree at home, the open university thing, he used to come to summer school for a few weeks in summer. Oh. And they used to do stuff in the city centres for the you know, students. From Richard the York and Edward the Third. And to disco that. dancing to with students. Well, centers. this is how diverse this programme is. This is how diverse we are as people. Hear us whisper. Hear us whisper. Oh, right. You know what you need to do now, don't you? Dig deep and get the e, uh, EVP recorder out. Let's see if we can hear some voice. I'm going to film around, guys, and just show you this uh, square with the tree, and it's all lit up for Christmas. Look at that. So we're actually on the 30th of December now, and tomorrow night's New Year's Eve. So we're having a couple of days in York, and then we're going off up to Pontefract to do the um, East Drive, Poltergeist House. Uh, we didn't quite complete everything we wanted to do in Loch Ness last week because the weather completely changed and fog came down and we couldn't see a thing and then the snow came and it was just a <laughs> catastrophe after that. So, uh, sorry if we only put two programmes out, one from Loch Ness and one from um, the vault at Alistair Crowley House. But we do intend on going back up there to complete and do the nighttime stuff at some point. But that's why we uh, had to cut short and just leave it at two programs uh, so now we're going to do hopefully three shoots here and then on to Pontefract Black Monk House to spend the night there New Year's Eve um, and just you know we we did it last year and it's a really good location but this year we're going to film it properly and share it with you guys there's lots of little uh, plazas around with the you must help we will help if we can I'll keep that white building on the left hand side in the background there because that's where the Roman soldiers have been seen a few times. So it's a significant building. I'm just going to run EVP recorder now because whenever we get spirits saying you can hear my voice, we always like to do this in case they want to talk and we can pick it up. We have actually had a few things on EVP, but we haven't played everything back to you yet. Do you know, I just had a feeling some black hooded figure was stood right there. You know when you get that corner of the eye thing? Oh, that was weird that. You know when you get like a, you know what they call the corner of the eye thing where you look and you think, I could swear there was a hooded, I'd say about, the, about that tall, stood just for, for a quick second. It'd be interesting to see if this camera's picked that up when we look back on that. It, it might, maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure for it, unless it's the way I flashed my torch and it, maybe it just looked like that. But, but, but you know when you get that creepy feeling with that something's stood yeah. there. The only way you get that is if. Cause... Well, I flashed the torch around like that, so I don't know if maybe I caused the shadow. Or looking at it now, maybe it was the torch. We're only going to know when we look back anyway. Sometimes you can freak yourself out, guys, you know, just... Right, I'll shut up now, then you can record. So now's... Realm. Realm? Realm. Well, maybe that was from another realm that I think I saw in the corner then. It's like a spirit realm, isn't it? I think I know what it was. I think it was your shadow. I think that's what I caught. Yeah. Yeah, 
play it back and see if we've got it. Mm. Did you get anything? I don't know. Well, let's have a walk up whilst it's quiet and just film a little bit more around. And just take the um, MF meter and then if it flickers we can stop and just do... Because there's like... There's other doors here as well so perhaps we can... Uh, yeah. Doors tend to be pretty active, don't they? Because people yeah. come and go from there. again guys just in case you never know if something's gonna walk across so this is where Andy had that experience where he felt there was people walking up behind him and then there was nobody there so it's really just being the right place at the right time and if you're lucky enough you can catch something all right let's go back up that way then <clears throat> you think you got anything on Singing. Yeah, well, that would make sense, wouldn't it? And I'm thinking, I didn't hear anybody singing like, it's like singing. Quiet. And I thought, because first I thought, is it picked up something that's going on inside? So I don't. No, yeah, but the shop, though. They're not open now at the minute. They're not even doing tours at the minute. They're that's only open for services. They'll be open tomorrow I mean. night for the New Year's Eve service, but they're not open tonight. <laughs> it's, uh... There shouldn't be anybody in there singing, not now. <clears throat> Maybe you did pick up uh, like 
and all the residual. And all the stuff in the background. Thinking like, there was nobody singing around here. No, there were, there was nobody at all. There was something, something Yeah, there was people there was walking people past, but there was no one singing. That's but the Guy Fawkes house, everybody. <laughs> where Guy Fawkes used to live. <laughs> We'll have water in this way now the ghost groups have gone and see if we can get a bit further around. Yeah. I'm lost, I think. <coughs> I don't know anything. Is it just me? And I thought, is we'll it have to listen to it back again. You know when we're in a quiet I'll place and we can... back without any yeah. background sort of sounds to it. Oh, this on anyway, just be... Yeah, just keep that on in case we get any flicker, uh, flickering lights. See, they keep a few windows lit up in here, just for, you know, to keep it lit up, it's nice. But there isn't as far as I know anybody in there at the minute, all the doors are locked up. Because tomorrow night they'll, well they'll have this church open anyway, St Michael's, I don't yeah, think they might not get, I think, I can't remember now on New Year's Eve if they open that one, the Minster. I think they do. Yeah. Like, yeah. Tickets for a special thing. Yeah. I know that one, you can go in and get a hot chocolate. That one, anyone can go in, yeah. You can go in and get a hot chocolate. Look at this gargoyle here. Are you pointing to me then? <laughs> oh, thanks. That looks like look at green. that. That looks like the green man. Does it? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Like green it man. is like the green man. It is the green man. It's like you before you've had your shave. It's before and after. No much difference, Before to be frankly honest with you, is there? And after. Go on, show everyone your plat. Look at that, guys. We've managed to get it into a plat now. So that's handy before. And that's handy now when his missus has got his hands on his... No. Got her hands on his beard and plaited it for him. Yeah, I can do it myself. It's funny that there's nothing coming through when we're in front of the church. Sometimes you just got to film and see if you pick up anything, like orbs or anything, don't you? Because some of these build buildings are just so old. We'll just uh, turn it around a minute because we don't want to film. Because some guys are walking along. We don't want to spoil it. And most kids like to get on, to be fair, but we haven't got time to interview every single person we walk past. Died in the wall. Well, do you know what? There is some Commonwealth get, uh, graves and stuff around here, isn't there? Are plaques anywhere? Yeah. You know, there's like um, some commemoration things around here, so maybe that's why that's coming up. Weird, I've had that twice. Some film is done. I've had that come through a couple of times. Bam. Yeah, you have, haven't you? I wonder what, that's, wonder what that means. Initials. Bam. B A M. Maybe it's initials. This is like Bam. Oh. Will it be initials? It's a strange thing to. I have no idea. Maybe it's initials. Bam. Well, maybe it's like short for something, abbreviation of something. You have to get your demon register out, won't you? Look it up. Just gonna swap hands. Let's drop the camera. See if I can do it now. I've perfected that now. Swapping hands without dropping the camera on the floor. Giving everybody a shot of the pavement. Let's go down to this mansion house thing, cause. Yeah, I do usually take shots of the pavement, even Spirit World's agreeing. Usually? Yeah, because I said I'll take a shot of the pavement, and they said, yeah, usually. So even Spirit's used to my dodgy filming. That's what you want. And me being spread eagle on the floor with the camera. Like... That was her. Yeah, exactly. So that's, they're agreeing. It's not good when Spirit's are agreeing that your filming's crap. Well, you're getting shots of the pavement. And that you're the clumsy or. shots of my fingers. <laughs> yeah, but Spirit's not meant to agree. Spirit's are supposed to go, Look, Alison, you're doing brilliant considering you're the clumsiest person in the northwest. And I've hey. broken the camera almost seven or eight times uh, now. Yeah, the spirits, the spirits tell the truth. But the spirits are agreeing. They tell the truth. I can't. I'm not doing anything to do not with it. Not having it. <clears throat> Alright, let's do what the Ghostbusters do. Stand on the steps there and oh. see if we get anything. That. Yeah, it will be. That's the kind of thing you come out with. Yeah. <clears throat> on the steps. <clears throat> You go on the steps. Well, this is what the ghost tour is doing, isn't it? So we've got to be something worth... Uh... Well, I need to do I, but just <laughs> tune in. <laughs>
We'll go to that one in a minute, but I think there's another group going round for now. Well, we can do that one at the end, yeah. I actually don't... It's supposed to be We're haunted, friends. this building. We're friends. Friends, the spirits are friends. friends. Yeah, that's why they're taking Mickey out of me. That's why they want to be yeah. friends. Yeah. We all stand on them steps and I have a clue what the story is. All I know is that house there. Is it this one? It's the one with the big windows, it's the little window. Oh, this one here, yeah. It was, it was a plague. It's yeah. Like, you can see what there was a door. Yeah, you can. Hold out your hand. Yeah, but that might be going back to the plague because they used to mark the hands and everything, didn't they, when they had the plague? Yeah. That's the plague house, this one here. Oh, they're following. Yeah, it was, uh, it was uh, basically because the family died in the plague. Yeah. I presume the whole family died. Yeah. And what had happened was the little girl was still alive and she ended up, she was just left in there. Yeah. And sometimes people have said that picture up, that uh, little window up there, people have at night seen her waving at Waving, yeah. at, waving out of that window. That's what that's what they've uh, So that's this one up here, isn't it? That window, uh, but you're right though, there is a bricked up door. Yeah, um, I, I think basically they, they just presumed everybody that died in the house. Yes. Yeah, so the little girl was underneath. Cause she, 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 stuck here. Stuck, stuck here. Stuck here, that's the little girl. She's, well she's been seen here, hasn't she? Stuck here. Maybe she needs to cross over. This is a plague house, guys. It was um, the whole family were locked in when the plague broke out in the 1660s. Oh God, yeah, it's going mad. So it is a little girl. So it's true that she haunts this place then. She's stuck here, so she's not moved on. She's not moved on then, has she? Not even going on or not. She's not moved on. She's here. Yeah, so it's her. So there's, yeah, like Andy just told you the story, the little girl is seen at that bedroom window up there trying to get out because the whole family were locked in and they died of a plague. So they burnt the house. They did burn the house. Did they set fire to the house? And the little girl was still in there, alive. I think the story was they couldn't let her out because the whole family had had plague and they couldn't risk letting her out. They had to leave her in, didn't they? Boy? Maybe it was a little boy then? Maybe the story's got mixed up. If this is you, can you these lights I'm Alison. I'm Alison. We're looking for ghosts and we're looking to help spirits that are troubled and... Below. So you were down in the cellar, so this story is what they've told, isn't it, around here? Right? Yeah. Like there? Yeah. Right. So maybe she was in the cellar, or oh, hey, if it was a little boy who was in the cellar, and they just locked the well, house up. Am I, am I correct in saying that's going on off in it? It was, yeah. Here, this level. Yeah, at child level. It's permanent. At child level. There? Yeah. It's off. So it's at child level, isn't it? So there is a child stuck here. And this is what the local story is. Got a child's height, isn't it? Yeah. So this yeah. child has probably not moved on. Just, just, just for the camera, that yeah. height, it's off. Yeah. That height. It's so it's child height. So this child has not crossed over. No, it's off. What's your name? Please tell us your name. Get a name. Come on. Because we need to confirm if it's a little boy or a little girl, really. Tell me your name. Come on, you, you have to 
Masters to introduce ourselves. Oh, hi. Yeah. You have a, was that the old door? Late. 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 Maybe they say it's too, it's late. too late. But it's never too late to cross over, never is it? Too late. Never too late. If you're stuck, we can, we can open up that tunnel to get you back reunited with your family and your loved ones. She's probably frightened. If it's a little girl or a boy, they're probably frightened of crossing over because they don't know what's going to be on the other side. Nothing to be frightened of. Because everyone else is gone and they don't know what to expect when they make that journey on their own, do they? It's, it's the white tunnel that everyone's supposed to pass through when they pass away to get to the next level or the next world or whatever you want to call it. The afterlife. It's just matches with everything that the local historian goes, storytellers talk about, isn't it? No. I think we'll move on, shall we? So anyway, I'll confirm that that story is true anyway. <coughs> Gotta go back that way. We don't want to upset local people. Yeah, we've got to be careful because people live in these houses still. We don't want to offend or upset anybody or make a nuisance. Doreen. But the story is that... Doreen. The, Doreen, I wonder if that's her name. Doreen. Maybe that was the kid's name. Is that Well, that confirms that story, doesn't that? Yeah. Because that's the house that where they say the little girl was trapped, and all the messages and the EMF meter and everything is just confirm really that that's true. But it was like up there, it was off. Down there, it yeah. was off. That height, yeah. Child's height. So it's like it was, it was permanent. She's probably still stuck. So we're going to need, somebody's going to have to release her and help her pass over if they haven't already tried. Yeah. That's the problem with the children, It's hard getting them to move. Yeah. And, and the thing is with that, it's sometimes better. All right, Andy, we're going to finish this now. So do you want to get here and we'll say goodnight to everybody? And, uh, yeah. Oh, that's been, that's been very good. Yeah, for that's tonight. Good, yeah. Oh, yeah. And we'll carry on tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. And we'll see you very soon at part one of York, Ghosts of York. Bye. Bye.